Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 7th of March. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 7. Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse lying lips to a ruler. Solomon is using a negative formula to, to, to say what he's been talking about in other parts of his book. What he's saying here is that uh, uh, a person who is not wise cannot speak wise words. He cannot do so. It's impossible because it's not in his nature. As we are going to see later, a good tree will always produce good fruit. And how do you know that a tree is good? It's when we eat its fruit. That's how we know. Words from the mouth of the wise are gracious, but fools are consumed by their own lips. The mouth is just showing what the per a person has in his heart. We've been talking a lot about words in our meditation, and uh, we even had a a lots of meditations based on words and wisdom. So it is a very, very, very important uh, subject in the book of Proverbs. How to know it is important? Because it keeps on coming. We try to say, okay, that's it. We've talked about words a lot. We're not going to talk about it any longer. And then Sol Solomon comes back with another verse as this one. He's got a very interesting text to, to talk about children and words. Even small children, I know, are known by their actions. So, so is their conduct really pure and upright? How do we know? We know through their actions, by seeing their actions. It's interesting to realize that children, can, we can just be like them. And we, we were like that as well. It can start from a very early age. That's why it's so important to teach the child the way of righteousness. And actually not just by, by words, by, by actions as well. We are going to show them how God wants us to walk. Because you can teach a child good things, but you can also teach them bad things. And it is through their actions that we are going to know what they have in their hearts. No good tree bears bad fruit, says Luke chapter, uh, four, uh, chapter 6, verse 43. It's actually Jesus is speaking. Each tree, not does a bad tree, bear good fruit. Good tree cannot bear bad fruit. Bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Each tree is recognized by its own fruit. People do not pick figs from thorn bushes or grapes from br uh, briars. A good man bring, brings good things out of his of out of the good store, of, out of the good stored up in his heart. And an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. The mouth speaks what the heart is full of. What you have in your heart is going to be shown through your words. Paul says in Rom Romans chapter 5 verse 5 that the Holy Spirit has poured out God's love in our hearts. And then in many different parts of his books, letters, Paul is going to say that the fruit of the Spirit is God's love. It is joy, faith, patience. All these things, they come from God's love. So, how can you bear good fruit? You have to be filled with God, the Holy Spirit. And when we are filled with God, you are filled with his love, and then you are going to bear fruit. God bless you.